and we're also going to talk about how the breast changes over time, which is obviously different when you're an adolescent or let's say in your 20s, 40s, and as she said, into menopause. So let me have you walk over here, doctor, and let's talk about those changes that women will experience during their lives. Uh, the first one is, of course, adolescence. Uh, possible breast lumps form. Let's explain that. Usually the, the nipple protrudes a little more. It's puberty, if you will. Right. So. Um, the breast can go through normal changes throughout a woman's uh, different stages of her life and during adolescence that's typically the first um, uh, uh, time when we see visible changes of breast development so when the ovaries start working and start producing um, estrogen we can have some of that fatty tissue that we talk about deposit in the connective tissue and that causes enlargement or growth of the breasts and the breast also uh, the, the ductal system of the breast also starts to grow mm -hmm. um, and during this time it's possible for benign breast lumps to form. Uh, cyclical breast pain which occurs during the menstrual period is typically related to hormonal changes so women um, have different peaks of different hormones depending on the time of the menstrual cycle so early on um, we see a rise in the level of estrogen which causes stimulation of the ductal system and also causes ovulation and then during the second half we see a rise in the progesterone level which causes the um, breast lobules to form in anticipation of pregnancy. So during this time period, women can have swelling of their breasts or larger breasts, and these hormonal changes can also cause a change in the texture of the breast so that the breast can feel lumpier, and this is due to the enlarging glands in anticipation of pregnancy.